I recently reread the book, Getting Things Done by David Allen. Have you been in a situation at work where the number of things you could do, should do, or agreed to do completely consumes your mind? In a desperate attempt to reduce your overwhelm, did you put your appointments in a calendar, actions on post-it notes, or ideas on a notepad? If you use these tools, you may have felt stupid, but you shouldn't have. Because the brain was not designed to keep track of everything we need to do or want to do. As author David Allen says, your mind is for having ideas, not holding them. With over 30 years of executive coaching and validation from the latest cognitive science, author David Allen has found that if we rely on our calendars and external lists at all times, not just in a state of overwhelm, we can experience stress-free productivity. Allen's Getting Things Done system, GTD for short, is like a brain hack for the modern age. Because when we agree to do something or we think of something we want to do but fail to capture it in a trusted external system like GTD, our brain acts like a computer opening up programs in the background as we work. These open programs take up processing power and slow down our mental computer. But if we capture everything in a trusted GTD system, we give our brain permission to close all the open programs on our mental desktop and be fully engaged with the task at hand and fully present with the people we care about most. Allen says the GTD system allows us to get meaningful things done with minimal effort across a whole spectrum of life and work and experience what martial artists call mind like water. However, building and maintaining a system you trust is not easy. I've struggled with maintaining a GTD system for years, but after rereading Allen's book several times, I realized that the only way to create a GTD system that I trust is to consistently execute three vital habits, capturing, processing, and reviewing. The first vital habit is capturing. Whenever I receive an internal notification of an idea or action and think, I should remember this, or oh, I need to do that, I get that idea or action out of my head and into a digital or physical inbox that I will process later. In the shower, I write down ideas and actions on a waterproof notepad. During meetings, I capture ideas and actions on a loose sheet of paper. And when I'm driving, I capture ideas and actions on my iPhone using Siri, so I can keep my eyes on the road. Anything that captures my attention is put in a series of inboxes that I process later. I never waste time trying to perfect an idea or clarify an action as I'm capturing it. The ideas I capture are typically terrible, but I don't care. I capture them anyways. By capturing a bad idea, I make room for a good idea. The single goal of capturing is to release the psychic stress of having to hold on to something that prevents me from being fully present. To experience the power of capturing, take out a piece of paper after this video and write down everything on your mind. After a few seconds of writing, you'll feel a wonderful sense of relief come over you. Vital GTD habit number two, processing. Each day at 4 p.m., I have an appointment on my calendar called processing. During my processing appointment, I look at the things I've captured since my last processing session and ask myself, is this actionable or useful? If the answer is neither, I delete it. If the answer is it's not actionable but useful, I put it in my reference folder. If something is actionable but I don't want to do it yet, I put it in my someday maybe folder. I check this someday maybe folder on the first of every month to see if old items are worth putting back into my processing pile. Anything I don't delete or put in my reference folder or someday maybe folder must be converted into a next action with an ultimate outcome. Alan says, things will remain on our minds if we haven't clarified an intended outcome and a very next physical action step that we can take. If, for example, I captured an item called budget meeting I convert that item in the processing phase to draft thoughts for the budget meeting agenda. If I captured fix filing system, I now convert that item to talk to Angela about the filing system we need to set up. Every next action I write down starts with a verb and contains clear instructions for my future self. After running down a next action, I identify the ultimate outcome I'm after. If one of my next actions is to drive to Home Depot and purchase new handles for the bathroom cabinets, my ultimate outcome is bathroom renovation, and therefore I must put bathroom renovation as a new project on my project list 
so my brain stops reminding me that there's more to do in this area. Once all the things I've captured have either been deleted, moved to a reference folder or someday maybe folder, or converted to a next action, I take one next action at a time and ask myself, am I able to complete this thing in two minutes or less? If so, I do it immediately, no matter what. If not, I place it in one of three locations. My calendar, my next action list, or my follow-up list. Time-specific actions go on my calendar. Things that need to be done as soon as possible but are not time-specific go on my next action list. And the items I delegate to others or I'm waiting on information on go on my follow-up list. If my next action list gets too long, typically 30 items or more, I divide it into context-specific lists. For example, I have an at-home list and an at-work computer list and an at-grocery store list. When I arrive at a certain context like at work computer, I bring out my at work computer list and work my way down the list. The goal of the daily processing habit is to remain in control of my stuff so my stuff doesn't control my mind. Alan says, the reason most organization systems haven't worked for most people is that they haven't yet transformed all the stuff they're trying to organize. As long as it's still stuff, it's not controllable. The third vital GTD habit is reviewing. Every Friday at 3 p.m., I block out 30 minutes to do a top-down review of my system. The goal is to declutter my system by clearing out non-essential items and ensure that all my actions and projects align with my long-term goals. I start a review session by taking a 10,000-foot view, essentially flying into the clouds and looking down, like Superman, and wondering, what do I want to be doing on a typical day three to five years from now. Then I go down to the 1,000 foot view. I imagine myself standing on the rooftop of a tall building and asking myself, what goals do I need to achieve in the next year to realize my three to five year vision? Then I go down to the street at ground level and see if my current list of next actions and projects align with my 1,000 foot goals and 10,000 foot vision and prioritize my actions and projects accordingly. Once my next actions and projects are prioritized, and I've cleaned out non-essential items and put critical actions on my calendar for the upcoming week, I am done my weekly review and have a renewed trust in my GTD system. To ensure I do this weekly review every week, I do it in the same place every week and reward myself with something special, like an expensive chocolate bar that I only allow myself to have after a weekly review session. In the end, keep your GTD system alive by consistently doing CPR, capturing, processing, and reviewing. If you embrace a bit of structure, never try to hold on to things in your mind, and commit to a select few GTD habits, you will create mental space and be fully present with the people you love and get meaningful things done with minimal effort. Remember, your mind is for having ideas, not holding them. That was the core message that I gathered from Getting Things Done by David Allen. I highly recommend picking up this book to learn the finer details of how you can build a system you trust. If you would like a one-page PDF summary of my GTD system, just click the link below and I'll be happy to email it to you. If you already subscribed to the free Productivity Game email newsletter, this PDF is sitting in your inbox. If you like this video, please share it. And as always, thanks for watching and have yourself a productive week.